It all comes down to game seven Tuesday night. Tonight, the Phillies, Diamondbacks, looking to see who's going to be headed to the World Series. It's a matchup between Brandon Fault for the Diamondbacks and, of course, our very own Ranger Danger taking the mound, Ranger Suarez taking the mound. And what I love about this matchup is a couple of things, Jamie. Ranger Suarez was the one that had to start last year, and it actually is exactly a year ago And now, well, 366 days, I guess, technically, it's like a year and a day ago that Ranger got the start and helped the Phillies get the first National League pennant since 2009, gets to start again when this team obviously needs some extra positive vibes, mojo, jojo, whatever it is to be able to close out this series. Feeling confident for the most part with Ranger, of course, taking the the mound first and, uh, also confident that Brandon Fault will not have the same type of career high nine strikeout performance that we saw earlier this series. Yeah, there's uh, there's two things there. One, they saw Brandon Fault and he had his career game and stymied them. And I think getting to see a pitcher, uh, you know, you can scout and watch video on guys all you want, but sometimes seeing a pitcher and the release points and how the ball actually moves, all that stuff can be different in person. So I do think it's a, it's a benefactor for the Phillies that they've already seen him. Mm -hmm. Uh, So they're not going to be caught by surprise. And then secondly, you said it, Ranger Suarez has my complete trust. Uh, I said yesterday on the post game show, I would trust Ranger Suarez with my children. Uh, And I, (laughs) and I mean that career in the playoffs, he's three and O with an ERA of 0.94 uh, 26 strikeouts and one save in eight appearances in the postseason. Um, so you know it's uh, it's big game Wheeler for sure. Uh, Nola was trending in that direction until last night, but I think it's definitely big game Ranger. And I do think the Phillies have the pitching advantage in this game. I just hope that Rob Thompson uh, lets Ranger get a little bit of leash. I don't want to yeah. see a quick hook for Ranger. I want to see him possibly go five, you know, and two thirds or possibly six innings and set yourself up for success. That is the key. You want to see Ranger go into it. the six innings would be ideal, but also uh, just to be able to be steady and and be that level headed, calm, cool, collected pitcher that is needed right now. And I loved what I saw after the game six loss. Ranger was talking um, and, and just saying like, I'm excited. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. And then for also um, everybody around him, Aaron Nola after the game was talking, Nick Cassianos, everyone's talking about how contagious it is for what Ranger brings to the mound. He's the right man. That's what Nick was saying. And that everyone was excited for him to take the mound. And even for Nola saying how he, nothing's too big for Ranger. You know, he's someone that everybody has confidence in. They know he's going to go out and compete. So fast forward now to today's game. You know, you hope the team has flushed that, and it's a great way to start with Ranger at the mound, but you yeah. really want to reset because Ranger's the guy that can do that for you. Yeah, absolutely. I think this re- team responds really well to Ranger Suarez. Um, you know, and there's a couple things in their favor. Uh, one, the Diamondbacks are going to have to win two games in a row at Citizens Bank Park, which is a really tough thing to do. Two, Paul Seawald, their closer, uh, has now pitched in four of the five games, mm-hmm. and the Phillies got an extra look at him last night while they were able to maintain their bullpen and their two best guys, which is Hoffman and Alvarado. So those guys got a little bit of rest, are going to be fresh in a game seven. And then, oh yeah, Zach Wheeler is also going to be available in the bullpen if needed because, uh, you know, the next game is not guaranteed. So it's literally all hands on deck tomorrow. So I think the bullpen advantage did tip in favor of the Phillies in this game seven. Not to mention, I just think it's going to be really hard for the Diamondbacks to win two games at Citizens Bank Park. Yeah, I agree. Now, for Brandon Fault, last time Fault got the start against the Phillies, um, that was that Thursday night 2-1 victory, sucked. Uh, which sucked. But Fault went five and two-thirds innings, gave up a pair of hits, no runs, nine strikeouts. Um, and then on the other side in that game, Ranger Suarez actually had a very good performance in that game. It just is unfortunate. It ended up being a, a walk-off loss. Uh, but five and a third inning, three hits given up, also no runs, because remember, we were scoreless all the way through into the sixth inning. And then uh, seven strikeouts in that game. So this is the same matchup we saw before. It's it's going to be a good one. Of course, the odds 
I mean, the pressure is on even more for the the Phillies, their first game seven ever, 140 years, That's which is wild. insane. I know we talked about it on our post-game show after game six. First time ever the Phillies are in a game seven, ever. And Ranger Suarez gets to start to help them start this historic first off the right way. So I'm looking forward to seeing how the outcome of this one pans out because I think it's going to be much different than that game three loss that we saw um, where Brandon Fault was just out of his world. Yeah, he's not doing that again. No. The Phillies bats aren't going to be silent two nights in a row. Uh, They had some truly terrible at-bats last night, and I expect it to be a lot better tonight. Game seven coming soon. Can't wait. Looking forward to seeing how the Phillies right the ship after a tough, tough performance in game six. Short-term memory loss, though, because it's time to close out and punch the ticket to the World Series for the second straight year. Let's go, Phillies!